So guys, in my intro workout, which is this, uh, I got some Gatorade. This is like the cheapest way of buying it. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. I got some uh, BCAs, which literally do nothing except for flavor it. Um, and then I got some beta alanine in there as well. Just going to make up my pre. If you're interested in a cheeky little fat loss tip or weight loss tip, then just skip to 20 minutes and 40 seconds and there's a nice little uh, couple of tips and a little talk there um, before that is the upper body workout so if you want to watch that then do so i should really get a funnel with a bigger hole in there we have some pure labs hexanite for the pre-workout stims loads of uh, good ingredients in there plenty of uh, caffeine per scoop so that's why i went with half a scoop and a little um, and then we've got the uh, show the world non-stim um, basically just pump formula so um, we've got a good amount of uh, ingredients in there as well plenty of energy and focus but also the pump <sighs> we're starting off here again <laughs> Um, okay, so you guys are probably going to think that all I train is upper body, but today is another upper body workout, but it's a bank holiday, so um, I had a bit of a uh, busy morning with clients, it's now uh, quarter to 12, generally most of my clients don't really train between the hours of uh, like 11 and 3, so um, I can uh, get my own workout in then, but because it's a bank holiday, I'm not going to be going to my usual gym again. So um, you're gonna think I'm a bit of a gym slut, but I'm gonna be training at a uh, another gym. So yeah, should be good. Weather's lovely. Let's get to it. So again, this uh, gym, as I said, is not my usual one, but um, it's to be honest, it's a better gym anyway. So um, I uh, I'm, I'm in looking forward to this training as well. Um, they do have heavier weights, heavier dumbbells, and nice machines, so, yeah, 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 cut that out. So, generally when I take my pre-workout, um, I'm on my uh, little stroll down to the gym, but I'm taking it now in the uh, car. Normally I take um, a little bit of L-Arginine with that as well, um, just like a nature's aid tablet. But um, this has got um, agmatine sulfate and um, L-Arginine in it anyway, so do not need that today. <sighs> oh man, that mixture of the hexanite and the wild berry show everything non-stim show the world not everything um is delicious delicious We here. So guys, in this workout, we uh, started off with some incline dumbbell press. Um, ordinarily, in my regular workout, this would be incline barbell press. Um, but um, as I was logging it and um, I was looking at the uh, the dumbbells, I was like, mm, I, I much prefer dumbbells to uh, barbell. The um, amount of muscle activation that you can get with a dumbbell, a pair of dumbbells, is just a lot better than a single barbell. Um, the internal, where you're bringing your hands in, um, that's just a much better mechanics for your chest. The um, chest um, muscle is actually also used to bring things uh, in towards the middle of your body. Um, if that makes sense. So if you were doing like a fly, that's primarily what your dumb your, your uh, chest prefers to do. Um, if you can get like a barbell with those uh, sliding middle parts, which are very very rare to come by, but those are like the be all and end all for overall chest development. So um, 
each exercise, obviously logging it down in your book will um, um, allow you to track your progress, but after each exercise I like to just kind of think how that felt, uh, whether it felt good, whether I, I need to uh, focus more on the actual uh, contraction. In this case I was like, yeah, it felt pretty good, I mean, I'll push up to 42.5, um, which isn't a PR or anything, but um, as I am in a mini cut, I wasn't really expecting a PR or anything like that. Um, this is my first week of mini cut, which I don't think I've actually said in this video. Um, so you may be able to see a little bit of change in my face, I think. Um, that's generally where the first place the um, weight seems to come from, which uh, is not a bad thing, but it's it's a bad thing that that's the first place it kind of goes to, which is a bit annoying. Um, as you can see, I got, um, I think it was 8 or 9 reps on uh, 42.5. Um, and then I just dropped back to uh, 40 for uh, the last two sets. So on all of these exercises, I'm doing four sets. Um, it's uh, this was weighted pull-ups, so I did uh, four sets of eight reps on this. I oh, know, sorry, three sets of eight reps on this. Um, all the uh, higher rep range exercises I did for four sets. Um, although at the end of this. I did throw in a little uh, cheeky drop set, so you could count it as a couple more sets on that, but um, I didn't. Um, with these, uh, you will be able to see in the uh, second, and even in this set, um, I'm using a little bit more momentum. Um, I'm still just trying to focus on uh, keeping my weights up nice and high during this uh, mini cut. It, it's only 30 kilos on weighted pull-ups, but for some reason today it felt a lot heavier than it usually does. Um, I'm, uh, also the um, grip is slightly different to what I'm used to using. Um, I'm used to using like a parallel grip. These ones kind of come out at like a 45 degree angle. So it's kind of difficult to be able to completely, um, uh, what's the word, compare the uncomparable. Um, always do a little bit of stretching mid, mid set on the uh, first couple of exercises for a new muscle group so enjoyed that these um, uh, are very like momentum -y, um, but in the grand scheme of things you're still you're still being able to uh, recruit those muscle fibers you're still breaking down the, the uh, um, tissue especially on the eccentric like people um, kind of underestimate the power of an eccentric on on the movements so even if it's kind of like a forced negative um, I still carry on with it, which um, some people may say, like, just drop the weight and focus on an impeccable form, um, which I do do on some exercises, but when it's, like, an exercise like this, and I know I've got a um, uh, other back exercise later on in the week, then generally I'll tend to, like, pull one with very, very strict form, and then the other with um, a little bit more momentum <laughs> as he kicks his legs up. Um, but yeah, you can do what you want really with it. It's uh, up to you. Um, that's just how I ran this. And then the last set was a uh, a cheeky drop set, which you can see now. So um, I think I've only got like four or five reps on each plate um, that I pulled off. Uh, so it went from 30 to 20, and then four or five reps there, and then. 20 to 10 and then 4 or 5 reps there. I didn't bother with just body weight at the end. Um, I could feel the fatigue was enough. Um, so I didn't, there was just no need. Um, as well as logging that in the book, I just put like a DS as drop set and then um, I put one plate um, per drop. So I just put one PPP PD. Um, it makes sense to me. You, 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 when you log your stuff in your um, gym book, you kind of make up your own little um, phrases and stuff. This is a shoulder press machine, which um, in my log book would be uh, dumbbell shoulder press, but I just like, I haven't actually tried this machine before, and I just like the feel of it. So um, I stuck on uh, 30 aside and just repped out six reps and saw how that felt, so then added another 10 on each side. Uh, you can't actually see that, but I promise it's there. <laughs> There's me making a little roller coaster joke, thinking I'm funny. Um, 
so this is the 40 aside um, and then eventually I just I increased again but um, whatever playlist I was listening to on this I think it, I randomly found it on uh, podcasts I just went on uh, podcast categories music I think it was um, keep the rave going or something along those lines I do show it later on but whatever it was it was fire it was really good um, and uh, yeah so whatever that is and uh, I do show it later on uh, write that one down so I bumped the weight up to 45 on this um, set and uh, then went again you can see I'm just loving the music um, it's, it's like a hard style kind of music which is always good at the gym um, and then on this it was basically just four sets of 12 um, which was it's, it's a nice feel on the machine because the uh, the levers like kind of come inwards as well not just up only very slightly with a dumbbell obviously you can over exaggerate that movement um, one thing I would say if you are doing dumbbell shoulder press or any sh dumbbell press movement never hit them together at the top I see so many people in the gym do that and it it kind of hurts my uh, soul when I see that so please don't do that um, for the main reason is that you'll um, once you bounce the dumbbells together you, you put yourself into a imbalanced position and um, bouncing it off will m mean that the dumbbell the weight of the dumbbell goes out um, so yeah really love the music as you can tell um, so this is 50 at the side um, I don't think I got 12 on this two three I don't see struggling four five yep, keep going six you kind of go into a little bit of a dark place during this you're like no I ain't, I ain't stopping seven and then it's like it's hurting actually that belt was digging into me and it was actually really painful but you just go into this place where you're like no 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 I ain't letting it stop um, I think part of the reason why my leg is bouncing so much is because I was trying to stop it from like pinching my skin and then stop I, I lost count on that but that was a, it was a nice set that um, and this is the podcast um, which I was listening to which is pretty good Yeah, keep the rave alive there you go that's what it's called um, again using bear grips I use bear grips on um, most of my pulling exercises um, I use them on the uh, weighted pull ups they are just like a hundred times better than regular lifting straps in my opinion they're more secure than a, a lifting strap and they're also just like a hundred times quicker to put on with lifting straps you have to wrap it round and tighten it up and feed it through the other side even with figure of eight you have to feed them through the other side but with these you literally it's coming off your wrist you pass it to yourself over the bar and then you're in like it ain't going nowhere until you let go so yeah I'm, I'm a big fan of bear grips and uh, of course there's a link in my uh, description for those with a discount link on there as well um, but even regardless of that even if you don't want to uh, buy uh, specifically bear grips using those kind of style grips, they're called multi grips, um, are just extremely beneficial and uh, I find bear grips of great quality. So, yeah, if you don't want to use the link, you're missing out, but whatever. Um, so, uh, this in my logbook would have been barbell row, but again, I don't usually have this machine, so I got a little bit greedy and tried that out. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it was a nice, nice little exercise. Uh, it's always funny when uh, someone who's juicing uh, just watches over at you and you're like, yeah, well, I'm natty, bruh. Um, and then this also, uh, you see me just uh, give a little smile uh, because uh, the uh, guy that just jumped on the row machine, uh, he said, oh, no, 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 I'll leave your weights on there, it's fine. I'll lift those. And I was like, uh, so I didn't have to clear them up, which was good. But then uh, he tried a few reps and took them off, so inside I was smiling uh, um, lateral raises uh, the lateral head I find uh, just because it's so isolated you can find it quite hard to progress on lateral raises so in order to kind of comp combat that I use a little bit of a cheap lateral raise um, 
obviously this is 20 kilos so it's not like massively heavy but um, as long as you get a good squeeze at the top again a bit like the weighted uh, pull-ups you use a little bit of momentum um, but then I drop set at it so that's another way that you can progress them as well is um, just using a simple drop set you don't have to do like cheat reps or anything like that but I do find a little bit of cheat does help um, because most isolation movements are so frustrating to uh, progress just doing simple things like either a drop set or micro loading or uh, cheat reps just really do help to push on those progression on those little movements um, I always like to imagine like a scooping movement on this the uh, low to high cable flies it's just it just allows for a little bit more like upper chest activation um, I only recorded one set on those um, again it was four sets of 12 so nothing cray cray um, then this is weighted dips um, I actually misread my logbook and um, I saw the 30 um, for three, uh, four sets of 12 um, it's that it was actually supposed to be uh, 40 for three reps of 12 sets of 12 but um, that's 30 kilos on the next exercise which is uh, barbell curls uh, so on the um, uh, set after this I uh, just bumped up the weight to 40 again um, and then I think I only um, filmed the final set which I failed at um, which was a bit frustrating but uh, yeah. you can't always be on point with your log work unfortunately um, so to combat that I just made up the volume um, later on um, and then this is obviously a barbell kill the most pro thing that you can do um, I don't really do much for my arms specifically just generally um, compound exercises like the uh, dips and um, back exercises for buys but um, it's always nice to just add in a little bit at the end um, so my program always has isolation movements towards the end with the big compound ones at the beginning um, except for this um, fairly large compound movement in my opinion um, the dips um, which I always get to the end and my soul is slightly destroyed um, my CNS is like crying uh, but you know it's, you just stop being a bitch and you get on with it so um, although I did fail this last set so I can't really say that but you know you push you strive for more you strive for progression progression is the motivation that's what I always say um, I do find with dips that like if you get them just right you can get a um, really good squeeze in your lower chest and your triceps and you're coming up and then your rear delts at the top where you squeeze but really you shouldn't be using your rear delts and this is just a little physique update um, so one week into the cut as I said previously um, you always look bigger when you when you just start cutting which is ironic really but um, obviously I'm not going to be competing this year this is a full off season so after this uh, six week mini cut for holiday I'll be straight back onto my uh, gaining phase um, so people just checking in if you can hear those uh, little notifications but um, yeah I'll be straight back into my gaining phase after that so um, I'm actually bumping calories up this week um, as I made quite a significant drop this first week which is always normal but um, it, as I, I'm not like in a massive rush I've still got plenty of time left so I might as well uh, make it a little bit more of an enjoyable experience and bump up the calories a bit um, it's quite easy for me to have quite a high expenditure being a personal trainer so um, I can always just have higher expenditure if I need to um, and keep calories higher the reason I kind of jumped down into a, a lower um, calorie deficit was because I thought I had a lot further to go than I did but as soon as you kind of pull out 200 grams of carbs that initial carb inflammation of fluff just goes down quite a lot so yeah I was on 500 grams of carbs now I'm 300 so I'll probably go back to like 350 or something this week um, but yeah I think overall very nice workout there's uh, obviously a lot of work to be done before next year but progress workout done it's time to head home grab some food and then we got
got more clients later on today. Oh, so warm in the car. Alright guys, that is the workout done. I hope you enjoyed it. It is bank holiday Monday, but I've still got uh, my local clients and I check in with my online clients on uh, Sunday uh, and Monday. Uh, those are like the more in detail check-ins. So um, I split them up over two days. It's just a little bit easier to uh, manage uh, that many things. And then um, I always check in with everybody halfway through the week as well uh, on a Wednesday because uh, a lot can change in a week so I don't really get coaches that check in with people once a week or once every two weeks or once a month for some coaches as well and people pay like ridiculous amounts for that so yeah that's how I uh, run my coaching services um, anyway so that was um, first choice fitness in Ponteclean if anybody is watching and was wondering um, great gym um, owned by Brendan Lyons a very uh, well, I worked with him, so um, I could say he's a, a work ex-work colleague, but um, an awesome guy, and uh, someone I I count as my friend. So um, yeah, he's a lovely guy. It's actually a uh, boxing uh, MMA sort of gym in there as well, um, but that's uh, all in the downstairs area. Um, the fan is currently blowing, so I can I hope you can hear me. But uh, it is pretty. Uh, pretty warm today so um, yeah nice nice British weather is doing all right for uh, March sorry for May <laughs> I actually looked at my watch and it says Monday so I don't even know why I uh, looked at my watch um, Fitbit you know on that hype um, on that step hype um, talking of steps actually um, I was talking to uh, one of my clients last night and um, he was wondering why um, I asked for people's steps rather than people's total calorie burned. Now, the Fitbit, although like it's it's good um, and it's come a long way, um, it's not it's not going to be very accurate. Um, it goes off your heart rate, but lots of things can you know affect that: stress, caffeine, to name two. Um, and then there's the steps are pretty reliable because it's like it's going to be consistent um, with your lifestyle um, just be careful if you're a, like an office user and you do a lot of this um, or a lot the the reason is because that's going to be a better um, measure of how much you're like fidgeting or moving throughout the day rather than your calories burned um, for example, when people start going into a dieting phase, people's metabolism slows down, um, when actually it's probably not actually their metabolism slowing down, so um, it's actually just their activity. They, they're, just, they're just tired, they're lethargic, so they don't want to go for a walk, they don't want to move so much instead of getting up to go to the fridge. Um, or whatever, getting up to go for a drink, they'll think actually I can't really be asked. Uh, I'll just wait a few hours until um, I can do it later or something when I'm going to do something else. So we just become a little bit lazy, which is normal. That's our body like trying to save our energy. You know, we're in a calorie deficit. Your body's just trying to survive. But um, people then end up pulling calories down, and um, in fact, you don't really need to do that. All you needed to do was just monitor your activity. So just being a little bit more aware of those can be um, can be a great little tool to make your fat loss a lot easier. Fat loss tips with 7030 Fitness. That's what I'm good at. Anyway, um, that's, the, that's the work I've done. That's the video over, really. I'm uh, not really going to show the rest of my day because uh, it's just a bit, you know, it's a bit weird holding the camera and training people and then um, the rest of it. One day I will. One day I'll do like a full day of eating as well, but not in this video. This video is just a nice upper body workout. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you uh, aren't subscribed, think about doing so. You uh, you won't miss videos when they go out. And um, if you are subscribed, but um, you want to know when my videos are going out, hit that little bell button because uh, that'll notify you and you'll get a little email and it'll pop up and say oh 7030 fitness just put out a new video and uh, you'll have to go, woo 
So um, you can go and watch it straight away then. Um, so yeah, like, comment, do all that stuff. Tell me about your day. Um, tell me if you had a good workout today. I don't really care, but you can do if you want. Um, so that's it. I'm going to wrap the video up there. Lots of love. Take care. Peace.